Listen. I first started uh, building uh, hand puppets. They were uh, the first one was this T Rex. It was extremely heavy, and it was just a pain to carry around. All made out of all wood. And I wanted to make another one because this was like my first prop or second prop. So I figured I'd do it out of spray foam just to see if I could do it. I started out the frame with cardboard and uh, a lot of duct tape. So I shaped it the best I could. Uh, wasn't really sure what I was doing, but then I just said hell with it. And I started spray foaming and spray foaming and spray foaming. <laughs> and I just kept building up till I thought I could get to the place where uh, I could start carving on it. So I just kept rotating and, and more foam and more foam. I think the total was $60 worth of spray foam I used. Once I got the shape that I wanted, I started carving. And there wasn't enough after I got done carving there, so I added a little more. And after that, I started shaping it with a knife, just cutting it with a regular old kitchen knife, took me a minute, and then uh, after carving the eyes out and everything, I realized that there was some uh, pitting that I was not really happy with, if you see here, uh, around the scales, and then I decided to paint it to really get a look of what it would look like, and I wasn't really happy with that. I mean, if he was doing like a prehistoric type thing, maybe that would be right. So I talked to a buddy of mine, uh, Jay Olson from Unhinged Props, and he told me about this uh, shop towel with uh, wood glue, uh, uh, flour, and water that would, you know, skin it rock hard. And uh, so I used that technique, and it was pretty much the way he showed me it was pretty much seamless. So I went ahead and uh, uh, did it like that. I was pretty happy with how that turned out. It wasn't perfect, but the uh, hey, spray foam, you know, and. Uh, so after that was done, I was going to move on uh, to the teeth just to see what I was going to do. Used, uh, uh, as you see, pool noodles, and then I spray foamed. The frame that we used um, to hold the mech, uh, we fiberglass on the side. If you see the bars uh, connected to the sides, we fiberglass all that made it pretty sturdy and had a bar going down, and that pretty much was the framing. I mean, everybody's frame would be different because you're going to uh, make it, you know, it's not going to be the same size. So I didn't really do a tutorial on that or any type of thing like that. Um, then we moved on to the mouth. We used the same technique. I spray foam over the, the bottom jaw mech and uh, shaped it. And uh, then we started, uh, then I started to spray the teeth on it. Uh, Actually, I just like squirted and squirted until the uh, had a big mound, and then I went ahead and uh, shaped the teeth. So uh, there it is, right there. How I just sprayed the foam on it, and then I did the same technique with the with the shop towels. And for the eyes, we used uh, Nerf football. It's funny because it just happened to fit in there uh, perfectly. Later on, we used, uh, flipped it around, used the orange side because the black really didn't come out good. Uh, then I painted it, and I don't know. I guess for my first time, it's an okay paint job. Uh, like I said, uh, we switched the eyes around to another color, uh, orange with the black irises. Um, I think it come out all right. I'm going to tweak it here when we get back. And uh, So that's what I got. And uh, here's, a, here's a picture of it in motion. And I hope you guys liked it.